Here are the five most essential vocal production plugins that you're gonna need to make your voice sound great. I don't like when videos have super long intros, so let's get started. Number one, the Sound Toys Bundle. There are a few plugins I'm gonna specifically highlight in this video, but I deeply recommend getting the entire bundle because I used probably eight to 10 of them, the entire, just all over my mixes for the last year, and they're incredible. The first one I wanna specifically highlight is Little Alter Boy. This is a vocal mangling kind of plugin where we can play with the shape of the voice, the tone of the voice, and add a really nice drive and distortion to that affected vocal. Take a listen. Shining, I'm hiding, I'm desperately trying to fit the moon. Shining, I'm hiding, I'm desperately Shining, I'm hiding, I'm desperately trying to fit the moon. Trying to fit the moon. I do myself when I'm feeling the void and I've left you as little as I can. I'm gonna show you. What I love about it is the fact that it is so simple. It just makes it hard to mess up and make mistakes as far as making it sound worse. And the way that it actually adjusts the formants as you pitch down or pitch up, it's really compensating to keep the sound smooth and not harsh, which I found with other ways of mangling the voice it gets really harsh, but this keeps it very in the pocket and smooth and rounded out, which makes it of course very easy to work with. The next one within the Sound Toys bundle I wanna talk about is Little Micro Shift, which is a great way to add width to your voice without adding doubles to kind of add this little chorus 80s effect with all these variants of pitched vocals that they duplicate out, make these pitch and kind of modulation adjustments and then bring it up in the mix. Check it out. Shining, I'm hiding, I'm desperately trying to fit. Shining, I'm hiding, I'm desperately trying to fit the moon. Everything hurts, but that's what I've been, what I've been told that I do to myself when I'm... And the last one from this is the little plate. This reverb is just so smooth, so rich, and so easy to use because they use just three knobs and it sounds better than a lot of reverbs that have way more functionality to me. So you can just cut out the low end, cut out the mud, mix, reverb length. It's hard to mess up. Take a listen to it right now. In the back, broken bag in the trash, no more huck up on my In the back, broken bag in the trash, no more huck up on my stash. I am mad, this is all I wanna, all I wanna do. Again, I cannot recommend that. That bundle to me is a great creative and imaginative bundle where it's not necessarily to do technical work, but you can get so many great sounds and they just sound so simple and are easy and functional and it just makes the creation process so much more exciting. Number two, Vocaline. Now, I'm gonna show you a quick before and after because what Vocaline does is it will take lines of your layered vocals. So you have a lead vocal and your doubles, your layers, your harmonies that are singing the same words at the same time. And it will make tons of micro adjustments within that audio file to line up your additional layers to your lead vocal. Take a listen and then I'll tell you what happened. I see you trying to get so close. I see you trying to get so close now. I feel the way you're looking good now. I see you trying to get so close now. I feel the way you're looking good now. It's very easy to use. You simply tell Vocaline which audio file is the lead vocal and then one by one tell it which ones should be following the lead vocal. And it makes hundreds of little timing adjustments to really tighten it up and make it so simple and so easy to get that pop tight vocal sound. Vocaline. Thank you for saving my life. And one more thing, because there are other solutions like Vocaline, but you must, you must use something to keep your vocal layers tight. It is one of the easiest ways to tell an amateur production from a professional one is how vocal layers are treated and how they are organized and edited to the lead. It's a dead giveaway whenever I listen to something and I can tell that somebody didn't put the time and effort and it starts to sound amateur really quickly without a tool like Vocaline. So that's why I put it as number two here because it is so, so important. Now, I wouldn't be able to do this without saying, number three, a pitch correction plugin. I use Autotune. I do not care at all for the Melodyne versus Autotune pour. I find that a very unconstructive conversation and it's not something I honestly really care about. But what I will say is Autotune gets me the results through automation of the plugin and working with that in Vocaline in tandem, I'm able to get a flexible pitch correction solution and get it done as quickly as possible so we can move forward and get to the next stage of getting the song complete. I personally have Autotune EFX Plus because I do like some of the mixing creative effects bundles that are programmed into the plugin 
plug it in that bottom half there, but that's not essential for yourself. If you'd rather just have the artist and you don't need the internal effects, go for that. Or if you're looking for an entry level version of Autotune, Autotune Access is a great space for you to get started. It's just a run and gun solution that'll take care of you every single time. The fourth thing here is the Slate All Access Bundle. Now, this is probably my favorite go-to just general mixing solution plugin bundle. And here's why. First off, they cover pretty much every single base as far as having a variety of compressors, a variety of EQs as far as the style and sounds and flavors that they all have. So every time I've had a voice and I need to give it a sparkle or a shine um, or make it sound a certain way, I have the different flavors. It's like having a spice rack of EQs and compressors that have so much variety and flavor that no matter what I've been given, I've always gone to a specific module within the VMR um, or I know to pull up the virtual tape machine. Like these plugins are all over my session and it's a great, like the value for the subscription. I don't really tout many subscription plugins because I think it can be easy to get into that, into that, that pit where then you're paying 80, hundred dollars a month in subscription plugins. But this is one that I pay for every single year. And I'm so glad that I do. Not to mention on top of that, it seems every single year they're dropping something new that I'm glad that I get access to. And I've done the math as far as how many of these I would actually individually purchase. And it would take me something like 15 or 20 years to actually pay that in the subscription fee. So I'd rather pay the yearly fee use that cash somewhere else and then know that they're going to keep dropping great things that I've enjoyed as they have year over year over year so I can keep getting more value and in integrating more of these plugins into my work. Not to mention the fact that outside of this late stuff, you get the Kilo Hearts bundle, the Anna 2 synth is amazing, and they have a bunch of great content that you get access to as a subscribing member. Uh, probably one of the best bang for buck plugin bundles that I've ever uh, purchased and ever been able to enjoy for so many years. Like I can't even tell, like, show you one instance of it being in my chain because it's so much of so many chains that to turn it on and off, it's just it's just too far. I, I do too many things with it. I do too many things with it. Number five, Soothe. Now, Soothe is one of those plugins that I get scared to recommend. And here's why. It is almost so powerful and it is so easy to ruin mixes with the, the big knob to turn up how much it's doing because it smooths out the high end. Soothe, that's the name, Soothe. Soothe's the high end, okay. Um, but it is so good at its job that you can ruin things as you continue to overcook it with the knobs. I get scared of recommending it, but I always say use this after you've EQ'd as best as you can as a final thing, especially with cheaper condenser microphones for vocal recordings to really tighten up harshness and give us that nice, smooth, soothed top end. Um, it'll just take care of a lot of those micro moments because it's it's like a multi-band compressor on crack where it'll just be able to pick up all these little things that we can't quite grab with EQ, but it'll even out tone inconsistencies with the vocal performance. It'll even out um, harsh harmonics in the high end that come from either the microphone or maybe uh, vocally performed it a bit harshly. It'll be able to smooth that out really, really well. But again, don't go to that too early. Go for the just EQ, compression, general tone shaping, and then this can be a great final push over the edge. I see you trying to get so close now. I feel the way you're looking good now. I'm just gonna say it. I think we should play this out. I feel the way you're looking at me now. Um, this is not a cheap singular plugin. I think a lot of people get off pucks. I think it is $200 not on Black Friday, even though I know right now today it's coming out, you know, it's going to be probably on sale soon. Um, but, and people get a little deterred, you know, $200-ish for a single plugin. Um, but I haven't not used it in the last two years and I've always found it beneficial. Um, and it's just a great save the day plugin for anything that I need. So I couldn't recommend it enough to pick up Soothe as a great investment to smooth out your vocals. Um, this also works great with with group and gang vocals. So when you have uh, 16 vocal tracks all bust into one aux, you wanna be able to manage um, any peaking frequencies and Soothe can be that last 10% to add clarity, make sure that we can hear it and there's no buildup in any specific area, especially in the high mids and high end. So we have that nice, smooth, clear, precise vocal stack coming through. So do you have these plugins? Do you not have them? Are you gonna go get them now? And what ones are you using all the time that are not on my list? I would love to know down below. Before you go, I would love to invite you to the Facebook group, The Modern Music Creator. This is a great community of people who are all creating at a very high level and learning and growing together. There's no BS, there's no just, there's no farting random links that make the quality so unbearable, the, the, the group so unbearable to be a part of that you don't wanna participate. This is a great tight knit group of people and 
I would love to invite you to be a part of it. If you enjoyed this video, I'm sure you're going to love it there. And we can really dive deep. And also you can get feedback on your music and post it up there so we can kind of continue to build this community uh, that's been just probably one of my favorite things that's popped off in 2020. Other than that, I hope you have a great day. Thank you so much for your time today. I appreciate you spending it here with me. It really does mean the world. And I hope that you have a fantastic rest of your night. Night? Wait, this is whatever. Now get out there, work hard, and remember, kindness wins.